Hi, welcome to the small shed. This Saturday we're dealing with the neighbours. See you in a minute. Now, as we, I've mentioned in the past, and you can probably even hear in the background at the moment, the um, ex-children's home at the end has been demolished at the end of the garden, and they are now putting up a new structure. Um, I'm by no means a NIMBY. I was more than happy for that to go on. The children's home was there long before our house was built. We were a bit perturbed how close it is to the boundary, but these are the way these things go. Um, and it's not really going to be any great problem. The roof is down fairly low, so that from most viewpoints we're not going to have any sort of intrusion or problems at all. However, up in our main bedroom we can actually get a line of sight straight down into the uh, one window that is there um, that leads onto their communal area. So as that line of sight goes through a, a, a gap in the shrubbery where they actually took down a tree before they started building um, we thought we would put up some sort of a trellis just to sort of try and lift the level of the garden uh, shrubbery a bit and give us some sort of masking between the two of us um, it's no great work of art it's there just to hold uh, there's a wisteria growing at the back already that we can train across it and some clematis we're going to put across and hopefully in time it will get higher than um, even the trellis that I'm putting in just to get that little bit of privacy um, th from the one or two rooms in the house that are affected by it. So let's go out and have a look. First thing to do is to get some posts um, painted up, preservative treated and get those dealt with ready to put in the garden. Now I think you can see that the um, view from our bedroom window is such that we view straight down into their communal area. It's no real problem but it would be nice just to have that masked off. So we're going to put the trellis across that gap. Now a normal fence line is limited at two meters high and it's not even our fence the one at the back so what I'm actually going to do is to get 2.5 meters high which is the height that I'm allowed to build a garden structure and we're effectively going to extend our garden um, pergola bit that shields the top patio so effectively we're building a garden structure just inside our fence line and then if anything comes along that they want to take their fence down or anything like that it's a freestanding structure so that's the reasoning behind it and that way i get at least another 500 mil of lift that i wouldn't get by just extending the fence even if it were our fence that i could do that Right, so the first thing I need to do is to get something to protect that top of that post while I hit it with a sledgehammer. If you just bash the end of the post it all gets belled, turned over and you probably end up not being able to get the post in. So it needs a sacrificial piece of timber inside that's taller than the hole. And then you can hit that and it doesn't matter if it gets damaged. Normally I'll use a bit of a fence post cut off but I haven't got anything at the moment that was suitable so I'm going to use this bit of off cut from the finial I turned the other day it's not quite deep enough but I'll put another piece of timber underneath it it'll probably split and break up but if I leave it sticking out about an inch or so just cut these wings off it should be about the right size just to slot in. So we just chop that down, get a filler piece to go in underneath it and then we can go out and start and smash them in. Thank you. 
So we've got a sacrificial piece to go in the bottom and then we've got our main billet that will take the strain goes in there just leaves it slightly clear we'll take the load go out and mark it out and get started Right, one post in and as you can see it's making pretty short work of the laminated timber in the met post but it's doing its job so if I can get it to do one and a half I've got two of these I can use so uh, it's just a matter of putting the jigsaw back together that's it put that back in the next one I think I'll cut a new sacrificial piece because that's pretty much gone and we'll move on to the next one
Right, well that's done as much as I can do within the law to alleviate the problem. We'll have to let nature take its course and things to grow across. As I mentioned earlier, I hope in time it will grow so that some of the roses and things will grow across and upwards and will give us a little bit more height as well because there is no restriction on how high things like hedges and that can grow. So I hope you enjoyed the video, hope it was of interest, look forward to seeing you next week and we'll try and do something different. See you then, bye!